Okay, everybody, welcome back. Um, now we'll talk a little bit about the building process uh, for the base units and the bridge. Uh, we'll start with the base units. Uh, so here is, uh, I'll spin the camera, here is uh, one of the base units uh, that I, I, I built. So the process for building these base units essentially is um, all of the, this, this particular section here, which is the upper section, had, had routed out sections in three spots through here with a, a biscuit that, that slotted in with some um, constructive adhesive that I used in these three positions here. And then there were slots in this one so that they literally all locked in together on both sides. And that's what was done here. There was a series and complex of the same arrangement biscuits up in through these, these, these sections here. And, uh, and they made a, 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 you know, they made a section up that allowed us to, uh, to slot that into the side walls. Now, um, I, one of the things that I did that was different is I, I produced a piece of aluminium uh, angle here, as you can probably, I hope you can see in there, um, and, uh, and I mounted some binding posts on it. Uh, of course, this Megami Gold stuff, which I'm not a fan of, um, was internally wired through the through these side walls here. So, um, yeah, as you can see, the, the wire pops out here and there. Now, why you can't see the wire as well is because I have actually put some black heat shrink around this wire to uh, to disguise it, and it does a pretty good job of disguising it. Because otherwise, it's it's this gold stuff that you see coming out of the out of the side of the um, the side walls here where it's internally wired and it just runs out and, and ma marries up with the the uh, the binding posts for the driver. What I've done is put some black heat shrink around it so if we head around the other side you can essentially see the same thing here. I, I've just put some black heat shrink around around the wire that, that is uh, that is that is internally wired in these side baffle or the uh, the uprights here. Um, so that's how this all slots together. Um, it's all pretty, uh, pretty square and and uh, and isn't hard. But there's obviously quite comprehensive instructions that uh, that talk to you about each step when you're building these base units. As I said, the the binding posts here are a modification we did. I'm not a fan of the Speak On connector, um, and so I would I would I wanted and preferred to go with a binding post, and so that's what we've done. I've just uh, I fabricated a piece of angle. Uh, glued and screwed it to the bottom and then put some binding posts on so that we can literally just fit banana plugs in there on the wiring looms that we've made up especially for this um, this speaker system but it's just a process essentially of of uh, gluing and uh, with with biscuits all throughout the side walls here in through the instructions it's a little bit tricky mounting the base units you know if we go in through here you can see you were literally right up in the inside of the unit up here to try and get us. Uh, I had a right angle screwdriver, so I was able to screw those in. But um, you know they uh, they can be a little bit tricky, and there's a process again that's explained in the in the instructions about how how to do all of that. Um, and uh, and that's how we get the base unit in, in the in into construction and built. And uh, and as I said, uh, relatively simple instructions to follow there. To but essentially, it's a process. And uh, once I had all this glued up in stages, it had to be done in stages. I clamped it all and left it overnight, obviously for each stage to dry before I moved on to the next the next stage of the building of these um, these base units. Uh, I'll talk about the bridge next. Okay, so here we go. Here's the bridge. Um, it was a pretty basic arrangement to uh, sort the uh, the setup out for those. Again, in the in the join through here, there were uh, routed out sections, three of them, with biscuits that we glued in. I glued into the three positions here, and then routed out sections in the top part that the the this sat into, and that happened on both sides. Um, again, three three sections. Da uh, routed out sections, biscuits went through there and then uh, it was uh, uh, a constructive adhesive with a urethane situation. Uh, obviously now you can see all the wiring that is uh, colour coded um, for the, the adapters for the bridge 
this is what we're using. I'm using for the bridge. These are a heck of a lot better than the essentially what was um, a, uh, a power. Uh, um, let me show you. I'll actually come back to that and I'll show you what, what was provided by in the kit, which absolutely was not acceptable uh, to use for audio signal as far as I'm concerned. So that's what we have. We have two of those, um, which are there, and uh, they hook the wiring up and they are all um, quite high quality um, arrangements that, uh, that the wire goes in through one end and out through the other uh, as we connect the top of these wires through. And obviously, as you can see, there's the, um, the, the wiring into the back of the binding posts on the, a section here. Now, I modified this as well. So I cut the, um, the, uh, the, the bridge timber away further than what was cut out of the original kit. Um, I made a piece of uh, C-section aluminium up and uh, glued and screwed it into the extra part of the, um, the timber that I cut away. I obviously uh, mounted uh, three sets of binding posts onto that, again, so that we could attach the, the three speakers. And you can obviously see from through here uh, the wiring that runs along um, into the, and we showed that earlier on the, the way I've, um, I've sealed the bridge up so that the wiring sits under and the same thing applies through there so that you know we've got a nice clean this can that that can of course come off and and uh and and access can be got to the wiring um i know in the kit they talk about um hot gluing that wire into that into that routed out channel uh but i, I just thought that looked like a, a mess so i thought this might be a better option and as we stand a bit further back and you look at it it's very difficult to see that it's there's something there now and it just um stops the wires from rattling around and it was just a piece of foam which we of course showed earlier on okay so here is one of the um the uh, earlier bridges that were well, the one that didn't fail and you can see this is what they provide in the kit it, it essentially is is what you plug electrical wiring into um and it's it just not not i don't think conducive to you know uh, using in um very low voltage uh, signal trace hookup wire to uh, to drivers. So th this is obviously the, the the baffle that I stripped the the speakers out. That uh, this is the one that didn't fail, obviously. Um, and uh, but the other one, as you know, broke through though between those holes there in the in the narrowest section. So um, that is now a part of the the old setup. And uh, and obviously here is our new baffle which is an absolute work of art so uh and as you can see let's plonk this down and we'll we'll um we'll pick this up and show you the back of this of course there is the um all the drivers in place um the uh all of the bolts the bolts running right through the new new trace wire running through and there's the other end all color coded uh that those uh those distribution blocks you saw before marry up with the wiring on that side of it. So that is um, that is the new the new baffle, um, all about to be packed up in the boxes and uh, and ready to go off to their new owner Paul.